Hello J Rods, my name's Stephanie again. Um, welcome back to my channel. So here I am in beautiful uh, Vancouver, BC, Alberta, Canada. And where I'm from, Alberta, it's not like this right now. No, no sure we, it's like two feet, three feet of snow minus like, I think eight, nine. It's like plus like nine. I'm like 20 degrees difference. So I'm like, this is not fair. I love it. So today I'm going to try to make my way over to a abandoned hospital that is open to the public that we can explore. Um, I will definitely give you guys more information if not on channel or a little later on the video on a separate video clip. But I'll definitely give as much information as I can. It's beautiful. And I'm jealous. Though I still love my Alberta. Love it. And if you're wondering what I'm down here for, I'm just on a work trip. And today's the... I have a day off today, so... And today's also my birthday, so I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to stay in a hotel, sit, do nothing. I'm going to go out and explore. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy the video or as much as I can get. My shoes are getting wet. <laughs> and I'll see you in a bit. Hi guys. So I'm at the Riverview Hospital here in uh, Vancouver, um, British Columbia, Canada. And it looks pretty cool. I'm going to explore a little bit of it. I don't think I'm the only one here. Wanna see if I can get in? We'll see. As I said, let's see if I can find a way in. Oh, careful up there. Yeah, that lock says don't enter. <laughs> yeah, I just imagine if it opens. Right? Yeah, it's just like, it's It looks like there's some damage up there. Huh. <clears throat> oh, don't want getting a shot here. <laughs> but it looks like there's a way to get in the back area. A what? It looks like there's a uh, path in the back. You gonna go? Yeah. Oh my goodness, you're brave. You're gonna go down the path. Oh god, wait, there's a path there. Uh, it looks like there's just one in there, so I just have to uh, crawl into there somehow. <laughs> so you're safe. <laughs> Nah, I'm looking for ghosts. Let's try this shit. Yeah, I didn't see anything on that side, but there was, looks like a uh, way to go in and around. Okay. But first, Are I'm you going to try to get inside. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to do a quick um, walk around the perimeter first, and then I'm going to see if I can get in. Are you going to post it? Yeah, I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel. What's your YouTube? I'm going to see. Uh, G Rose Exploration. I don't have my phone. G G Rose? G Road. G, G Road. Yeah. Rope. I can pull it up. G Rope? I'm like, might as well explore while I'm here. Yeah, you Take an opportunity. We're done for the day, so we're How at least. How did you find this place? Google. I Googled for like an hour to a half to go. Yeah. <laughs> Just put 
places to adventure, right? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, it's to um like some burr like um blue something. Yeah. But yeah, this was actually a mental institution at one point. Yep. My brother lives on these grounds still. Um but oh, he has a key. Back, <laughs> back in the day, this place was like super just very terrible and when they closed down uh, a lot of the mental people not mental people I shouldn't say that but they went the, onto the street. Oh yeah. <laughs> the people that had mental is issues yeah. of the time. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't the right words. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it close down? It wasn't it, it didn't have the what it they needed anymore. Oh. The support they needed. So Oh. Well, that's like a lot of other places. That's a yeah. lot. Especially back in the day. Oh, yeah. And you can tell they don't want people in when they have all, everything like completely boarded and sealed. Yeah. Definitely. Well, only those four. I think able to. You can climb and grab a ladder. Uh-huh. As you can <laughs> see from the second story, windows being boarded. Yeah. <laughs> Not really helping you can use this fucking get into. Although you can also climb the fences. Yeah. So they're not really stopping you. Yeah. So it says like falling items. Yeah, I can see a brick. <laughs> <laughs> Double yeah. Well, yeah, because there's uh, apparently brick falling. I wonder what they're going to do with this thing. A lot of times they let them rot into the ground until someone decides to demolish, but it takes years. Well, apparently this is very haunted building, so... I would love to get into it. <laughs> Hopefully you can find a way. Yeah. You know, people have, so there, there has to be a special way to get in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I do. It doesn't look like it'd be that difficult. Like, that looks open right there. If you have your mind on it. That is definitely a fucking door. Yeah, that's dark as shit. <laughs> you need like cop lights in there. I think that just goes into that little room there. Yeah. A little shed. Go up more. Yeah. Maybe. Because they need to have. Because I think they do um, tourism in the summertime. Really? Like, I think. Yeah. That's why I was thinking because I saw a lot of people in front of the building. The doors oh, open. Yeah, maybe they used to be outside. Maybe. Before. I was going to say, I don't know if it's safe to go inside. Like, how old it is. It'll be a liability. Anyone know the history of when it started? Mm -hmm. uh, I had that a up. Long time. <laughs> Mall did shut down in uh, 2010, I believe. Oh, so only like. Mm-hmm. It's amazing how bad a building can get in like 12 years, yeah, when it's yeah. like fully neglected. Oh, there's a nice open window right there. Yeah. I saw that. Except I'm. Uh, except, except I'm a little fluffy, so climbing the side of the brick wall could, with no spider power. Powers, it's going to be really <laughs> hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. The fall might be okay, but <laughs> getting up there is not. Yeah. Some windows look better than the others. Mm -hmm. Some look brand new on me. Look at the graffiti at the top, so there's... <laughs> there's someone got in, or someone got on the outside. Oh, wow. How the heck? I <laughs> <laughs> probably got a ladder. Oh, people are definitely throwing rocks through those windows. Mm-hmm. You know, people probably have gone inside. That, that's brave of them, though. I'd be freaking out once I step right in. <laughs> I'd be like, freak out. I'd be like... <laughs> 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 
And then I'd be using my spirit box going, hey, anyone want to talk to me? <laughs> Brave girl for doing it on your own. Yeah. Yeah, no one else wants to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Danger, do not enter with a big ass moss on it. <laughs> Wonder if I can get into the other buildings at least, because they're also be the haunted. Other ones, probably. Cause they're not super fenced off. This one is because if you go and come up here and try to break in. Yeah. Yeah, you can easily cut that tree. Exposure to harm from materials. Permanent disability. Sheesh. Sweet. Nice. <laughs> BC housing. <laughs> Materials. Probably because it was a hospital. Yeah. Oh yeah. Probably left in his Medicaid. Yeah. I'm just like looking at windows, and I'm like, am I going see Possibility. I know that's what I was looking at too. Yeah, but they have this thing boarded off. Like I haven't seen anything like this, like this severe. Partial view or something in that window. I don't know, but it looks like there's something. Oh, it's just from the far view. That looks good. Yeah. That top window right there. Like the very, very top on the roof? No, not that oh. one. Below that on the right. Oh. Ah, there, something. Looks like the smudge. Could it be? Could be. Huh. It's a nice place, though. Mm, right? And it just shows how, how the architecture has advanced with us as a society. It could Smudging be. Smudging just like literally looks like something. This, it could be something in there drawing it to you. <laughs> There's an opening. There's an opening. I don't think you can sit through there. <laughs> I had a better chance by the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Typical bushes. <laughs> Look at the windows, hey? Look up there. Yeah. Oh, you can see the water damage in there, but that's. But if you think about it, people throw shit through the windows, rain's going to get in yeah. and damage the flooring and ceilings. This is very creepy. Mm-hmm. Even how that <coughs> My roommate's like, don't get possessed, me. Mm -hmm. I'll try not to. <laughs> and I'm like, it's not me who was worried about getting possessed with you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, no, definitely. I'm probably not going to be getting into this building, but we'll see the other buildings. I love the I love this little spot right here. People have carved out and they somewhat patched back together. <laughs> yeah, you can easily uncarve that. It's like. Oh yeah. Well, the old the old term is you put a lock on the door, keep an honest person honest, because if you want in, you'll get in. Yeah. Though well, they made it real difficult. They did. It's like only way I can see you possibly getting in this building at this point is going through the roof, because they cemented those windows. Yeah, they cemented everything. <laughs> so that means the first floor and possibly the second floor, it is black. Oh yeah. There's no through. No, you'll have to have a right outside. Yeah. <laughs> which fun. which my other roommate lost. Oh. That's <laughs> Just okay. before I had to board the plane. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, damn it. Well, that just worked out perfectly. <laughs> right. Well, it was only 19 bucks from Walmart, and it was holy crap, right? It was a vlogging camera, uh, light. <laughs> this is why I grabbed my other battery. Oh. Oh, 
Well, that was neat. Oh, there we go. The battery was dying back there. Oh. Over there, yeah. um, over there there's like a creepy tree and then just flowers underneath it. It looks so cool behind that car. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that. That is, that is, a, that is cool. Right? It's the one spot. Yeah. I'm just like waiting for like a curator or something to come up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, can you unlock the door? <laughs> They're very possible they could be filming a movie. If they need a bad end. Oh, <laughs> but, perfect spot. Right? These grounds are massive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I think there's a bad I think there's a bad building over there too. Yeah. There's a bunch actually around here. Yeah. There's there's a lot of abandoned little uh, cabins and little stuff cottages, like that yeah. too. Little cottages. They're all boarded up, but they're not like there's a fence around them. Or... It's not as nasty as this one, which is the main building. Yeah, this one's a big attraction. Well, yeah. You can see this one from the road. It actually is fairly breathtaking when you're down those steps. And you see this massive building. <laughs> the other plus is if someone does see this video, or if they see it, Sorry? if uh, not plus if they see it, they might let me in. Maybe. I thought that was snow for a second. I'm like, oh my god, the last bit of snow. Um. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, no. It was just a hole. But yes, there's a way in. But I don't know if I would trust that sketchy ass ladder. It's tied up. Yeah, my only worry is, who else is in there? <laughs> That's the only other yeah. worry that you have about these bad places. Someone said, thanks, clean. <clears throat> yeah, I'll say someone oh, else. Oh, there's a bottom. I just noticed that. Yep. So if you follow the hole wrong. <laughs> I bet you this is a, this is like a big party spot, you know? Mm-hmm. People start drinking, they don't look anywhere. No, it looks like this is a, uh, for drainage. Because if you have a look at the pipe there, it just goes in there and drains out. Well, I will be fascinated with that in a bit. And then I might go attempt the tens on the ladder. But, are you going to try? Yeah, I'm just wanting to go around this corner first. See if I can find a less sketchier ladder entrance. I feel like there's stuff going to be the best option. Oh, yeah, no. Well, we can um, help you if you want to come up there. Yeah. Just like walk you, spot you or whatever. Huh, no problem. Well, here's some extra boards they look like they're going to use to probably board more things up of. Okay, this is leads into nothing then. Oh, yeah, no, that's a uh, final destination feeler right there. <laughs> That's a, yeah. Hey, anyone feel fine destination coming up? Anybody wanna yeah, final destination with us? <laughs> Maybe not in that spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like let's go around the corner. Maybe not today. <laughs> you never know if the spirits don't want us here. <laughs> Out us? Yeah. <laughs> Don't go. <laughs> if anything, I'll probably just hop in that one room because I do not have my light on me and I didn't realize how dark this would be. Yeah, I'll probably just go into that one room. Yeah. And that's about it. Yeah. And I can do a little section right there and then pop out. Well, I'll be right here if you decide to come up. I'm gonna put my head up. Okay. Whoa. Ready, Andrew?
In all truth, I don't think anyone else is here. It's like a horror movie. Yeah. And part of the reason why they said don't, um, they don't want people coming in here, it might be because white, white asbestos. So okay. if you come in, just wear your mask or wear something on your face. There's someone definitely living here. What? There's someone definitely living here, just I don't think they're here right now. Someone's living in here? Yeah, there's a tarp up right there. Yeah. Yeah. There's someone living in here. Looks like there is a trash can ready to be used. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah. Well, we have nowhere else to go, right? If there's anyone here, I don't mean any harm. I'm just quickly looking and I'll leave. Just making sure everything's okay. Please say we go back in on your belly and swivel out and just feel for the ladder. And just use these. Yeah. Wow. Okay, everyone. Downstairs. Yeah. I see how they're securing it too. this was oh just a storage There we go. This is the one I need. Okay. Just going to do a ghost session. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Is there anyone here? Invisible. Okay, I, you're invisible. Kelly. Kelly? Oh, 
Okay, Kelly. Coffin. Coffin? I got invisible toes towel for coffin. Is there anything else, Kelly? These were beautiful floors. Was this your room, Kelly? Don't be afraid. Lost. Can you be lost? Can you tell me more about being lost? How do you feel? I feel fine. How do you feel? How do you feel? I'm going to start this quickly. Um, if anything. What do you want? Forty one. I want to know your history, your story. Philip, dead. get going on this if there is any spirits here with we'll L attempt you're not allowed to connect to any one of us you're allowed to speak to us through my device and let me know your story other than that you're not allowed to do any other thing than that street street what about the street I saw somebody touch on my shirt zero Who? I want to know who you are. What should I do? I would love for you to be able to let go of your past and move on to the next life. The doors and windows are open. You're free to go. Do you want me to go? Ceiling. What about the ceiling? Gary. Okay, Gary. Anything that you want us to know? Other from the street to zero and Gary? Yeah, I'm mainly scoping this. Jacob. Okay, Jacob. How many people are here with us right now?
Yeah, because I'm more scoping it to come back later on when I come down in July when it's warmer. And my other friend will be with me. So we can have two people exploring. Because it's never a really good idea to explore. Children. Okay, children. Are there kids here? Is that what I felt earlier when somebody tugged me? Was it a kid? No, not yet. Well, I was going to say yet. Let's say at all. <laughs> um, as for my question earlier, how many people are here? So far you said a few names and children. I understand that this was a hospital and it had bad history. Um... Can you fill me in on some of that history from your point of view? Dirty. It is very dirty, yes. It's not nice looking history. I'm getting a feeling of sadness, longing, and anger. Undecided. Imprisoned. Undecided. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll come back here in the summertime where it's a little bit warmer for all of us. And you guys can tell me your story then. Okay? Goodbye. Grandson. I hope you're able to visit your grandson one day. You're free to go, whoever is here. As I said, goodbye. Hey guys, I made it out of the building. Um, this, as I said in the video, this, this is going to be a short video. At least on the inside of this one for now until I'm able to come back. Uh, it seems pretty stable on the first floor. Um, I wasn't too sure about potentially someone being in there right now and me just being going in by myself. Me being short, female. Overweight, my chances might be slim, but it does look very interesting. So I'm going to go to explore the other buildings and see what I can get there. Never knew. Though I will thank those um, lovely ladies that were with me there. Um, really nice bit of information they gave um at the end of this video once i get more to home base i'll do a more informational um histor historical video bit or i might just do a part two on that and then maybe in the summertime or if you know anyone that's connected to this building that can get hold of somebody for me so i might be able to Explore the building without quite trespassing. That would be awesome. Because I would love to explore a little further. Get a little more haunted history on it. And do a little bit more, you know, history history from people that are around this area. So I'm going to go have a look at the other buildings. And as far as I know, everything. A lot, there's a lot of other buildings here that are completely abandoned. So we'll go have a look at those. So we'll just turn the camera around now. Yeah, I forgot my tripod at home. <laughs> and my light. Okay. Yeah, the main one that was beautiful is that one. But with beauty comes tragedy. 
and it had a pretty horrific pass. I just love the random tulips everywhere. So this one obviously isn't as bad for um, boarding. This one was obviously more taken care of. I think this might be the museum part, actually. Because it said on the website something about open till 9? And I'm like, open till 9? Oh, okay, well, open till 9 when? <laughs> um, I'll have a look. Um, I love all these little random paths everywhere. Oh, that's kind of cute. In this little courtyard here. Okay, so there's power to this building because there is a light on. Yeah, these are old style windows. Now I can actually see these windows up close more. Better. If the battery dies, I have another one, so if there's a, another break in the video, uh, just give me a heads up. So this building is starting to show some age, but it is, they are maintaining it a lot better. These are marble, I think. Center lawn building. There's vehicles here, so there's people here. As I said, there's light on. Okay. So there's no COVID postings any, anywhere. Yeah. Hmm. Unlike the other one, this stone was laid ni July 18th, I wonder what these used to be originally. Probably just another stone. You got me the moss. So the same thing that was well over there. Tulips underneath a tree. Not quite a perfect ring of tulips, but there are. Ooh. Okay, um. <laughs> there's a wheelchair access. And then I think to myself, of course there's a wheelchair access. This was a hospital. From afar, that almost looks like a castle. I like it. It's 
So most like another access door there. But like everything, locked. Oh, this one actually has a com. Ew. Okay, microphone. Okay, there's more behind. In Alberta, we're not getting this. It's still quite white. I will put a picture right here. Other than that. Yeah. So apparently there is a movie being filled, uh, filmed here. I'm not quite sure where. Yeah, this area seems better days. When gate is open, please lock when not in use. Okay. You know, I would definitely assume this is a uh, area that they would let patients go because it's fully fenced and people can't escape too easily. Oh. 5 p.m. Okay. It's like 5.40, so we might have missed the uh, cutoff time. If we want to go in and explore this building. Though, this is the reason why I hate people. This is the reason why I hate people. Throwing things through the, the window. Like, honestly, it looks like it was cleaned up in there. Sea trains, sea cans. Sweet. The lovely young ladies have texted me saying there's a map further down. I will go locate that map soon and I will take a picture of it. I will quickly text her. I keep walking. I'm just going to stop recording right now for a bit. Cute. Look, a pharmacy. Highly does operational anymore. Ooh. Oh, nope. Need a big tweeze. And again, I'm short, I'm small, anything's big to me. A lot of vehicles parked. Well, at least, at least patients and these ones had a chance for a little air. Like, these were originally windows. Hmm, I wonder what this used to be. Crew Park. Okay, this was the other building that think was actually in the video and the um, images I saw online
Like, there's a lot of cars around here. Once again, I'm pretty sure this is marble floor, uh, marble bricking. If anyone's been here before and know what exactly it is, let me know. Yeah, not exactly the carbon copy of the other building, but. At least I think if I would have got here earlier, I could have got in. Yeah. Yeah, a bunch of empty rooms. Another nice little terrace. A lot of manholes. Like, for a place of healing, or what it should have been, it's beautiful. Oh, I love how someone left flowers. That's so sweet. But, if I'm sending my fam a family member anywhere that I wanted to try to heal, this would have been a place I would love to send them. But, too bad the history is darker than what one would believe but a lot of times in those time period you don't know what's happening to your loved one or if you did this told just tells you what kind of person you were but yeah i know if i was sending my mentally abled person like i'm going to go uh trigger warnings i guess in the video here but mentally disabled is what I'm going to try to best use because that's exactly what happened here there's a lot of mentally disabled people sent here to be fixed or never be seen again because the family is too ashamed of their family member that's not quite right anymore. I don't know what I don't want to know what that is. I hope it's a poop. That's all I hope. Boiler house. <laughs> I wonder what this was. Yeah, if anyone could tell me what this potentially was at one point. Because there's zero evidence of a doorway being here. I don't think it could be a coop. It could just be a sh uh, It's probably most likely me being stupid and most likely a little shed. Like, yeah, no, if I was, you know... As I said, if I was sending my loved one here... To receive health and healing treatments. This would be a place to send them. If someone in the building. <laughs> I was like, what's that noise? No, it's a person. <laughs> Speaking of people. Part of me is wondering, is this still being used? can't be either. There's too many empty rooms. But the main, that building over there was decommissioned in like 2010. Doesn't mean the rest of these buildings were decommissioned. I'll find that out one day. So there's like signs everywhere. Like crew parking. Another sign that, oh! Crew parking. This, these are probably the people from um, that little movie. 
That makes sense. That makes a load of sense. So right now I'm on a film set. <laughs> Fun. Okay. Back. Definitely would love to see what be what movie they're filming here. <laughs> it's not overly crowded, so I'm not interrupting any filming. There's my bus. <laughs> There's the tent, which I will stay away from. Because I'd rather not get arrested today. For trespassing on filming grounds. <laughs> this is where I find I came really close to like one of my most favorite attackers. I'll be like, oh darn. <laughs> the thing is, I hear running water. And I'm going to assume these homes are not abandoned. I think. Like, I know there's a lot of buildings not operational anymore, but I can't see why some family homes are in this. I've seen people walking around. So. Oh! I know where that is. Don't trip. Don't fall. Don't die. There we go. Okay, so that house is definitely occupied by somebody. With all my experience with horror movies have told me, you stay away from those. <laughs> so, Cottage 106. Okay. Little quaint little homes. Uh, Unit 5 BC Housing, Side Hill. Orange path acquired. I think this is still operational. Review panel office. So yes, this would still be operational. Because this looks like um, the local post office. Danger, do not enter. Oh! Do not enter further. Please ring doorbell. Okay. <laughs> oh, what's this? Okay, this is a fire alarm. Okay. Telex exchange. Okay, this was the old telex exchange building. Okay, cool. Okay.
fell right there. She would have told me otherwise. <laughs> So there's awfully still quite a few people living here, so it's not abandoned, abandoned, but dang near. But, well, you looks like a parking building. I know the more exciting part is when I will enter the building, but. kind of cool I will end the video for now and I will pop the video on if I have more items okay. I'll hopefully see you guys in a bit if not I'm giving you guys his history when I get back to my hotel room see you guys